you're not gonna look at him. This is just what we do, right? Okay. Vamos. come around and walk like this and then he's going to start you know dragging pop and then release and then take a step forward and if he still drags pop and then release and then I don't want like I don't want this dragging him onto it I want a correction let's go correction let's go okay. right does that make sense yes vamos Shorten it up when we get closer. Vamos. <laughs> Place. Yes. Good boy. Great. Vamos. Say no as you pop. So no, and then guide him back. 
don't repeat the command again. So, he goes to get off? No. And then the back. Yes. Does that make sense? How <laughs> much? Good boy. Vamos. Please. Good boy. Yes. Perfect. So yeah. now we can stand here and chat for a second. Gosh, and I really feel like you understood the pep talk. <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> um, so, because this basically place is going to be like when you're eating dinner. Yeah. You're going to eventually get, you know how spot is now where you send them to spot from the threshold. It's going to be like you're doing in the kitchen and he's underfoot or it's dinner time and you go place and he'll go and sit there and he can sit or stand or lay down or do whatever, but that's, he needs to be out of the way. No begging, no jumping on people. Mm -hmm. He's out of the way. So a lot of people ask me, how do I get my dog to stop begging for food and jumping on us on our laps when we're trying to eat dinner? And I'm like, well, it's, I don't teach not to do that stuff. I teach place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then all the, all those bad behaviors go away, right? Yeah. If you have home teachers or guests or whatever coming over, or you just want him upstairs with you. You want him to be part of the family, right? Put him in place in the corner while you're all upstairs. Um, another good thing to know is I never, when my dog is on place, I never, I never touch them or invade their space. Those dogs need to know that the place is a safe space. Mm -hmm. Place is not a, a place where the kids are going to come crawl in and attack him. Not attack mm -hmm. him, but like all over him and he has to hold that command and stay there. Like that's not yeah. fair to him. Yeah. So place, you have to just tell your kids, you know, copper's on place, meaning, you know, it's his nap time. It's his, however you want to describe it to them. You know, it's his, it's his, you don't want to describe it as a punishment, right? But like place is copper's space to be. And then if you guys want to play with him, then you invite him off. You just take him off, come here copper and invite him off and play with him mm -hmm. and then put him back. So space is a spot where that's my dog's spot in the house. I'm not, I'm not allowed to invade that spot. And so like for, like with my German Shepherd, if I want to pet her and then I say, come here, and then I pet her and then I put her back on the plate. So that way it's, they know they're not, they know they're safe, which means place is going to become a spot where he's going to walk on there and lay down and conk out and go to sleep <laughs> and just be calm. So if I were going to introduce one upstairs, would it kind of be like the same method until he, mm -hmm. for him to understand the boundary? Yeah, when I introduced my dog to a new place, um, the first time I led them to it and I said place, which is, I had practiced so much, right? You're going to practice a lot doing this, that he's going to be like, oh, okay, this is place. So I led them to it the first time and then they, they, they needed a correction or two, right? They stepped off because they just don't know. They literally don't know. And so correction, no nope, place. And you correct as many times as you need to until they get it, mm -hmm. right? So when it comes to teaching them place, introduce them to every new one, and you're gonna have to correct them when they step off. So kindergarten, right? We're not, we're not, we're, we're teaching them what each place is. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, that'll just click with them. So when you go to somebody else's house, or you're outside your home, or whatever, they'll be like, oh, place, okay, I know that I'm not supposed to move. And that's why I like place that has boundaries, because it's easy for the dog to recognize where he's supposed to be. Right. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to drop the leash and if, if he steps off, pick the leash back up, no, a little pop, lead him back. I want you to start walking away. So when you start walking away, he's probably going to try and follow you, right? Because that's what he's known. This is what we've been teaching him is that you say vamos and then you've been going. So he's probably going to try and walk with you. Yeah. So you're going to say... No, little pop, guide him back. And then try it again, try and step away. He's probably gonna try again. No, little pop, guide him back. Do that as many times as you need to. And then once you step away and he stops, take another step. We're just trying to increase your distance from him. So. Yes, good boy. Perfect, and come a little farther. Good boy. <laughs> He's doing great. Good boy. Now go walk. Say no. 
No. Perfect. Place. Good boy. So next time, next time you say no, don't repeat place. He needs to know. Oh yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, that no means go back to whatever you're doing. Because no is a universal command. So if he had been in a down, he would have gone back to a down. If he yeah. had been in spot, he would have gone back to spot. In my head, it was like no outside there, but when he's here, it was yeah, just yeah. Stuck no, in and, it. and I, I still forget it and do it to my dogs too. Yeah. Even I still do it. So. And now what I want you to do is I want you to. Good boy. I want you to walk straight past him, and maybe go to those doors. And see if you're, because sometimes your presence and your energy of just walking past and going towards those doors, he's probably going to think he's going for a walk. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set him up. We're going to set him up to fail so we can correct him so he'll know what's right. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. So don't even, just keep going. So he needs a correction because he's off weight. Okay. No. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That was great. And then same thing, just come walk back this way. You can then you say good boy. Good boy. No. Yes. Good boy. And then just do it maybe two or three more times. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, now what I would do is I want you to go over and pick up the end of his leash. And remember, if he steps off at any point, just what, exactly what you were doing. No correction. Guide him back. I'm going to pick up the end of his leash, and I just want you to walk in circles around him with the, holding the leash. So he knows around that when he... Around place? Yeah, well, around place. Just around, like, like he's the spoke and you're the wheel just going around him. Oh. So, so he needs to still okay. stay in place. So, because I want him to know that just... Loose leash? Yeah, loose right. leash. Okay. I want him to know that just because you go over and pick up the end of the leash and walk around, it doesn't mean he can get up. I For see. instance, because if you have kids and you're getting ready to go and you want to make sure you have the leash in your hand first and then you don't want him to like jump up and run around, Yeah. he needs to know that you, just because you're holding the leash does not mean he gets gets released. The release word is vamos. Mm -hmm. So go pick up the end of the leash, you know, walk around him like this. I see. And then whenever you're ready... Say, vamos, and then reset and bring him back to place, just like we were doing earlier. Okay. Yes. Good boy. And then do it. Yeah, perfect. No. It's funny that he's yelping. <laughs> Yeah, it's mostly inside. It's really weird. Yeah. Good, yes. And then just walk around a couple more times. And whenever you're ready, whichever direction you want to go, say vamos. Vamos! Yes. Perfect. And then just go put him back. Place. Yes. Just drop the leash and walk away. Good boy. This is perfect. This is this is what we're doing here is exactly what you need to do for for homework. Cool. This would be nice because tired going outside. <laughs> <laughs> and you can. It's like really good exercise for the both of us. <laughs> and you can even um, when he comes out of spot. You could even, to get him to uh, not run around so he can put his, his collar on, you can even have him come out and have him do place here, or have him do place while you put it, his thing on, while you put his prong on. And then you could have him sit here like this while you walk to the door, mm -hmm. and then you could you could call him over, and then you could go for a walk, right? Gosh, this is amazing. I know. He's never... So maybe for the, you guys were leaving Friday, right? Right. So let's say Monday. So. Good boy. No. 
Yeah, he 